My name is Ann Wood, and uh, I have a music around store with my husband Jeff Perkins in the Atlanta area. We opened in 1997. Um, well, I was at a point in my life, uh, so was Jeff, that uh, we felt we needed to settle down a little bit, and a business opportunity provided itself that was in the music industry, um, and we really felt like um, that we could bring our creativity into the business and be successful. The person who financed the store was the one who found out about um, Music Around through Plating and Sports. And um, there was a sense of security in the fact that the franchise format um, allowed for uh, a little more security in his investment. And it worked for us as well, too, because I think had we opened um, our own, you know, Jeff and Ann's music store, there's a lot of things that, a lot of expensive mistakes that we would have made that would have cost us to go out of business. So it was, it was definitely helpful to have a format to jump into. Just having a network of people that you can, that you can go to um, is, is very helpful. And in, in fact, a lot of times I don't utilize all the resources because there's so many available that sometimes I forget that those are available. But I think the most important thing as far as opening up was having a POS system set up uh, that already kind of forced us into tracking our customer base and that opened up a lot of opportunities in marketing that in the beginning we didn't realize we would be utilizing um, and then having the research information available through the gold book was very helpful as well as well as the training. Oh, that, that's huge. Um, the, to be able to um, walk into a room and talk to a million dollar store when you just opened and get advice was, was great. And the, um, the experience within Music Around is that, um, and I think it may be indicative of musicians in particular, that they are very giving people and um, it's in, in their nature to kind of share information. So we, not that we didn't make mistakes in the beginning, but we avoided some mistakes because people were very generous with their information. In some ways, it stabilized our life, and um, it was interesting to go from a, a creative background and to realize that when you, your creativity is applied in a business environment, that you can make money. And that was really exciting to all, all of a sudden seeing those ideas translated into income. It, it's very empowering. But it's to never stop learning, um, to know that you're going to make mistakes, but um, if you're willing to learn from your mistakes, um, then, you'll, then you won't make them again. So that's probably the main thing is just to be very open to new ideas and open to um, learning from your mistakes. I think so. I think so. Probably the variety. Uh, you know, every day I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be encountering. I, I love, I'm not on the sales floor as much as I used to be, but I love dealing with people, talking to new and different kind of people, seeing um, kids get started in music is really exciting. Um, and then the, just the variety of gear coming through is, is great. I mean, I, it's, uh, you know, that's probably a side benefit, but it is nice to know that um, any kind of gear that I need or want is probably going to walk in the door at a certain time, so selfishly, but that is a side benefit. That's, you know, it's nice, you know.